All right, I'm going to read the questions a little bit. Now Minhas asks, can we track multiple 3D object targets the same way? Yes, I believe you can. So as Vinny points out, it depends on, in terms of tracking, it depends on the device, right? The more you're tracking, the more CPU is used. So that makes sense. Can it build to PC version, not just mobile? I'm pretty sure this is mobile focused. Let's see, C-Stracken says, for everything you want on the AR screen, you have to put it into the scene. Can they be loaded programmatically into the scene like Instantiate Prefab? I guess it should work that way. Yeah, yeah, you could you could instantiate these things. You would just instantiate image targets, right? Yep, as Vinny points out, good image targets, high contrast, asymmetry, good distribution, and non-organic features. Right now, you can see the astronaut, right, has some organic features and stuff, and so uh, you're not limited by that, but those are gonna be your like optimal types of targets. Polyus Dav asks, do you have some sessions planned for deployment on mobile? The problem with making any content on the Unity side about deploying to mobile is that the platform holders always change things. So as soon as I sit down and make an hour of content about how to deploy to iOS, Apple changes something in Xcode and it's not relevant anymore. That's why we don't do it because it's really... It's one of those borders, right, where you leave Unity land and go into somebody else's territory and it just gets messy. So I know it's something people would like. And we do actually have an article on the Unity Learn site, building your Unity game to an iOS device for testing. Let's see, Uncle Enzo's Pizza. I downloaded a very good 3D model of a real object, as, which is the result of photogrammetry. Then I uploaded it as a model target and tried it on the real object. It didn't work. Are 3D models achieved through photogrammetry not good as model targets? Uh, he says it definitely works great with traditional CAD models, uh, but I've heard of developers getting it to work with scans too. Yeah, I don't understand the tech behind that, so I wouldn't know how to optimize it. But uh, sounds like if you have a CAD model, that's a good place. Vinny says, there's a sample in the Unity Asset Store that mixes AR with VR. Good to know. Freaky Gamer asks, can I use the screen to interact with objects like a Raycast or something? You definitely can. Yeah. It's a Unity scene, right? So all your usual Unity skills apply. You're just working within that view frustum between the AR camera texture and whatever content you put between that and the camera, right? And then you can Raycast or do other stuff. Thank you so much to Vinny De Silva from Vuforia for coming and sharing his expertise with us in the chat. Super, super helpful. He was able to answer a bunch of questions that I wasn't. So teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks again. Bye.